Good day friends. Today we will see the inputs required for piping stress analysis. For piping stress analysis we need uh, some of the major documents from that line. We will proceed the analysis. First one is PNAD. Then uh, later isometric drawings and then equipment vendor drawings with the uh, nozzle allowable loads and then pipe stress design basis, process line list and a Navis file if they have Navis 3D model, Navis file or piping to 2D drawing or GA drawing pipe support standard, piping material specification valve GAD, insulation specification and uh, pipe stress and samples is there then uh, we will refer the configuration and the unit file and we will proceed the analysis okay so first one is PNAD the major document is PNAD uh, based on based on the criticality we will mark the critical lines based on the criteria provided in the pipe stress design basis so we used to highlight the sys critical lines in the PNAD and we will segregate the stress system we will we'll group the system based on the connection based on the interconnection of the line so here you can see uh, there are some systems which are highlighted in green and some system which are highlighted in pink color so the number they have provided is system SYS 9032M 008 and uh, 007 so these are the two systems for which are highlighted in this PNAD one is a pump suction and discharge they are combined and they grouped and uh, they consider as one system other line is uh, the branch connection which is uh, coming from the pump line and it is uh, uh, it is connecting to some other uh, system it it will be highlighted in the other PNAD so the major part is we used to highlight the critical lines based on the system in the PNAD. So we will keep uh, a master copy of the PNAD till the end of the project. So in between if you are changing any systems or any lines will be deleted or added, it will be highlighted in the master copy. And then next one is isometric drawings. Isometric drawings that is a very very basic input for uh, pipe stress analysis so we need to model based on the isometric drawings first we need to for example if you have any 10 sheets or 15 sheets of isometric drawings we need to arrange in such a way uh, the node numbers how we are going to assign the node numbers based on the node numbers we will arrange the sheets and we will start the molding so in isometric drawings you will get the, all the dimensions start from the equipment and uh, it, it may end at some other equipment so we'll get all the details like the dimensions and the where, wherever valves are there valves and then uh, um, which material it is uh, i mean the pipe material and the thickness the, these are the details we'll get it from the isometric drawings uh, some of the sample isometric drawings as shown here and the next is equipment window drawings in equipment window drawings we usually we used to model the equipment like uh, for uh, static equipment or, or as well as rotating equipments so we will uh, we we used to feed the values from the equipment vendor drawings for example if any uh, pressure result horizontal pressure result is there so we need to model the pressure result means we need equipment od thickness design temperature design pressure and corrosion elements and main thing is where it is supported for example if you take this one this equipment it is a horizontal equipment it will have two supports one is fixer and one is sliding so we need to model uh, the equipment based on the vendor drawings and the other details we will refer from the vendor drawings is equipment nozzle allowable loads so equipment no one minute I'll So equipment nozzle allowable loads so we will refer from this table and we used to compare with our Caesar output. So equipment vendor drawings next is pipe stress design basis. 
the pipe stress in pipe stress design basis we used to get all the details uh, like site conditions ambient temperature uh, seismic values wind details and then uh, uh, flange leakage check what are all the requirements of the flange leakage and then uh, criteria for selection of critical lines and then uh, report how, how to present the report and allowable uh, loads uh, allowable loads will, will be uh, developed here allowable loads will be presented here and uh, what are all the conditions to be condition, uh, considered in our analysis like, uh, for example load cases to be considered in our analysis what are the load cases basic load cases will be provided in the five stress design basis so based on the load cases uh, we can develop our own load cases based on the requirement so major document is pipe stress design basis so based on pipe stress design basis we will uh, do the analysis the next is line list uh, line process line list is a major document in which uh, you will get design temperature design pressure operating temperature and then uh, insulation thickness fluid density and type of fluid whether it is a, a single phase or a dual phase uh, and then from where it is going and where it is ending start and end point of the line yeah. so these are I mean, these are the details we will refer from the line list so next is name is 3d model or 2d piping layout if, if the project is uh, 2d 2d then uh, you will get the piping we, we need to get the piping layout from the uh, client so why this uh, document is re required means for example if your nozzle is failing or stresses are exceeding the limit then what we will do we will we'll try to change the support initially if it is not uh, feasible if it is not working then we will go go for a routing change so directly we cannot do the routing change you know, we need to refer or the 3d model or 2d drawings or whether the routing is feasible as per the site condition then uh, we will check based on the 3d model or 2d drawings and we will propose the routing chain to the layout team for this reason uh, an Avis model is required and then pipe support standard pipe support standard is uh, it is required to refer the loads for example uh, for uh, limit shop there will have some uh, allowable loads and for guides that there, there will have some allowable loads and for the secondary supports also allowable loads uh, will be provided here so we need to compare this allowable loads with our caesar output and design the supports or if the load is exceeding the allowable loads provided whatever allowable loads provided in the support standard we will transfer that support and we will consider that support as a Special support will be tra transferred to civil and structural department. So, for this reason, uh, pipe support standard is required. Piping material specification. So, in piping material specification, we used to refer the piping material uh, thickness. Major thing is corrosion allowance. Corrosion allowance will be referred in the piping material specification. And flange rating, valve rating, flange valve rating will be referred here. And then valve GAD. Valve GAD. So, valve GAD major thing is in the initial stage we used to refer it from pipe data pro or uh, if the details are available then we will consider it from the val ga for uh, control also now initially we will not get the details so we used to consider from uh, the reference document or from the previous project once we get the detail we will update the model and uh, we will proceed the analysis so these are the major documents which require pipes uh, which require which is required to mandate, which are mandatory to uh, proceed with the pipe stress analysis.